Hello everybody and welcome back to another investment video. Now investing in RuneScape is something that I've been interested in for a long time now but just recently I started to try. My first investment went alright, that was in Stamina Potions. Um, my second investment was in the Eldritch Orb and that one was really profitable. Now today I want to talk about my third major investment and that is in the Crossbow. Now I made this investment a couple of weeks ago and I want to have an in-depth discussion regarding my thought process, uh, why I bought the item, the price I bought it at, and pretty much any other information I was working on to make that decision. Pretty much I want to take you through the entire investment strategy step by step to show you how I did it. Now keep it in mind I'm still kind of new at this, so there will obviously be some mistakes, uh, my strategy may not be perfect, but bear that in mind. Anyway guys, if you enjoy videos like this I would always appreciate it. If you leave the video a like, always helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much, and let's get started. Now, the crossbow is actually an item that I've had my eye on for a long time now, probably a couple of months. For a long time now, the Revenant Caves have been a point of tension, and it did seem like some kind of a nerf was going to be coming pretty soon. Now, at the beginning of October, the crossbow was hovering around 8 mil. Now that was until the first week of October when we finally got our first definitive answer on what Jagex wanted to do with the Revenant Cave. Now with ongoing issues in the Revenant Caves regarding uh, gold farming and clans, Jagex finally definitively stated that they're going to be making some changes to the Revenant Cave. That those changes were coming in the forms of mostly nerfs, which included stuff like nerfing the straight up drop table of the Revenants, uh, moving them further apart, nerfing the Revenant Bracelet, and removing Multi from the caves. Now this proposal was pretty much across the board nerfs, with the sole purpose of making the caves a bit less desirable for clans, as well as making it less enticing for gold farmers. Now leading up to that announcement and kind of because of it, we can see that the crossbow increased a significant amount in value, going from around 8 mil all the way up to 10 mil just in a couple of days. Now it is pretty easy to see why. The crossbow and for that matter the rest of the Revenant weapons are only dropped from one source and that is Revenants. Now if Revenants are way less enticing to go to because their drops across the board are just worse, even if they don't change the drop rate of the Wilderness weapons themselves, just the straight up collateral damage of the nerf will make it less enticing and less people farming Revenants. So even though the nerf hasn't happened yet, that eventuality is causing the price to go up as most people seem to be anticipating that the supply of the Revenant weapons is going to be much lower, which in turn is going to cause the price to go up. And it seems like as of now, that is already being priced in to the market. Now today, October 21st, is the big day. It's not only the Halloween event, but nestled in here at the bottom is the Revenant Cave changes. Now it is not yet known how impactful these changes are, but in my opinion, to fully take advantage of an investment like this, we have to make that decision before it's widely known. Now because of that, I'm going to make a pretty substantial assumption, and that is that these nerfs are significant and will really disincentivize people from farming revenants. Now the update came out a couple hours ago, so we're going to hop on the Grand Exchange and go ahead and buy some crossbows. I think they are around 8 or 9 mil right now. So here is our investment. We invested nearly 300 million GP into crossbows. We had to buy it overnight. As you can see there, we price checked it the day before at around 9.5 mil, and we ended up making the full investment at around 9.6 mil each. Now I also considered buying some Revenant Ether or maybe some of the other wilderness weapons, but by and large I think the crossbow is definitely the way to go. It is by far the most desirable weapon, and the weapon by far that has the most uses and applications. Now the plan now is just to wait, be patient, and be observant. I'm going to go have a look at the Revenant Caves and just pay attention to what people are saying about it, and really try to get a good grasp on how impactful these changes actually were. If the Revenants are truly significantly worse, and there aren't that many redeeming factors, then the crossbow could go up in value a lot.
Okay, so wow, okay, the Revenant Caves are very empty. Part of it is just because everything is more spread out, but but from a very quick look, I didn't see pretty much anybody there. So clearly it has had a big effect. Now the crossbow is an extremely powerful weapon, and in my opinion, the only reason that it was that cheap, going down to as low as six or seven mil, purely came down to the fact that so many people were farming revenants just for their consistent resource drops. Now with most of the gold farming gone, the revenant weapons, and the crossbow in particular, has to go up in value. Well, I definitely still hold to that logic, but there is one major caveat that could mess this entire thing up. And that is the fact that one of the biggest sources of demand for the crossbow is actually to kill revenants. Which means if revenants aren't really worth killing anymore for money, then the crossbow definitely loses some of its demand as well. And so that definitely could be a factor, but we gotta keep in mind a couple of things. For one, the revenant caves are always gonna be desirable to some extent, because even if the resource drops aren't very good, the revenant weapons are always going to keep value, and especially if they keep going up the way they are now. If the crossbow gets really expensive, then revenants are still desirable, which means the crossbow itself is still desirable, which means there's always going to be a certain amount of demand for the crossbow from the revenant caves. But on top of that, we also have to keep in mind that it's useful in a lot of other locations. Honestly, most wilderness bosses can be killed with the crossbow and for many of them, it is the best in slot weapon. And to top it all off, while not everyone is happy with the Revenant changes, for the most part, they went down without too much fuss, so it looks like the changes are gonna stick, the supply for the crossbow has been cut significantly, and I think that means the price is going to increase a lot. Alright, so it has been quite a few days since my last update. Uh, today is actually November 1st, and I've decided I'm going to sell my investment. Looking at the last month, the crossbow has gone up a lot in price. There has been definitely a lot of up and down, but for the most part, it has been steadily increasing. Both of these things right here I think are just people stockpiling or dumping a bunch of the bows. So yeah, the crossbow has been kind of all over the place. Uh, so we bought them at about 9.6 mil, and we're looking to sell them somewhere between 17 and 18 mil, so that is a massive appreciation. So we're going to go sell these off in a minute here, but I just want to touch on the reason I'm selling them now. Now the first piece of information I'm working on here is a little tidbit of text at the end of the Trailblazer update. A quick section here at the bottom regarding the Revenant Cave, and more specifically this very last sentence here. That's not all for Revenant Caves. Keep your eyes peeled in the next few weeks for updates to spawn rates, the grace period, and other quantities. Now I'm not really sure exactly what they plan on changing, but I am kind of worried that Jagex is going to screw me out of my profit, and I'm really happy with how much money we've made so far. Now that is definitely not to say that I don't think there's some value in holding these long term. With the way things going, who knows, crossbows could become really expensive, like they could go up to 30 or 40 mil more, I, I don't know. But I think at this point there is an equal chance that the price is going to plateau soon, or Jagex is going to make an additional change that could make the Revenant Caves a bit more desirable again. Or who knows, they could go ahead and put the Revenant Cave weapons on the Wilderness Slayer drop table. Like, there's a couple things that could happen that could really screw me. And finally here, I kind of want to actually use the money. Oh yeah, I also kind of forgot to mention we bought a bunch of Revenant Ether, although <laughs> I don't think we're going to make much money on it. We bought them for 174 And now they are worth the... Uh... 3 GP more! Oh wow, that's gonna be a whole uh, mill profit right there. Okay, now of course the most important part of this investment, the crossbow. We're just gonna do a price check here. 17,745 into 17,716. Well, let's just go ahead and pop them in here for 17,700. 531 mil we're selling them for. Confirm. Okay, so we sold off almost half of them immediately, so we're just going to wait here for probably not too much longer, and then we'll calculate our profit. Alright, we're getting a bit impatient. Let's just go ahead and sell these off. Uh, we sold 26 out of 30. God damn it, it would have been perfect. I'll just pop them in here for a little bit less and they should instantly sell, I would imagine. Yep, there we go. So we sold the majority of them for 17.7 mil and a few of them for around 17.6. Okay, so beyond the 1 mil we're going to make on the Revenant Ether, let's talk about the crossbow because that's the most important. 
So 11 days ago, we ended up buying 30 crossbows for 9.6 mil each, or an investment of 287 mil. Now just a week and a half later, we managed to sell them for 17.7 mil, or 531 mil in total, which means per bow we profited 8.1 mil, or a total profit of 243 mil. Which is kind of insane, we nearly doubled our money in a week and a half. Which I think is pretty good considering how sizable our investment was. Now 243 mil in profit is by far my best investment ever, beating the last one by a good 30 or 40 mil. Anyway guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. As always, these videos are mostly just for entertainment. I'm not necessarily recommending you invest in the crossbow or sell off your investment if you already have it. I had my reasons for doing it and who knows, I may come to regret it. That's actually a pretty good possibility, I would say. But only time will tell. Now before I go here, I want to give a massive thank you to Revolver Ocelot, Kush Patel, Tizdok Bunny, and Brad Sings for subscribing and my Dragon tier of YouTube membership. I can't believe you guys did that. Thank you so much, guys. It means a lot. Also, a massive shout out to Double Talk, Heathen OSRS, Base Titch, and Luke Kaiser. Thank you guys again. If any of you guys are looking for an additional way to support the channel, becoming a YouTube member is an awesome way to do so. You can become immortalized in my videos, get access to a video release schedule, as well as get a custom Discord role. Anyway, guys, thanks again, and I'll see you next time.